people so important not to lose a big pot. Maybe even win a small one. And no worries about Frank limping with the King Deuce suited. He's in great shape here. Swing and miss, but... Check. 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 King High, good. There's 800 out there, boys. 400. Yeah. 400. I think he's getting called here. Don't know why. What could you have? Let's see. <laughs> Petrified him again. <laughs> now, <laughs> there is. Oh my gosh. Look at this. He's made the straight. He's made a straight on the river. 600. That is impossible. Impossible. I mean, interestingly enough, the king does have some showdown value. You know, he said to himself, it's definitely not a three, because he would have checked the three on the river. I mean, you could really yeah, almost yeah, talk yourself into it. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and that would be if stupid. the five hadn't have come, he might have bet it, and the king high would have been cool. That's the funny thing. Thanks. <laughs> I think more, more. I think more to do with what you said. No. <laughs> cool. I'll check. No, the thing about heads ups is they're they're so relentless. You obviously have to play every hand. You can't really take any time off. Sometimes you no. just want to. You know, it's. You have to concentrate all the time. But, you know, just try to log everything. Check. What your op check. what you what your opposition's doing. Um, with Check. certain certain hands, Check. keep your eye on on when he turns his cards over and, and log that hand. That's why I always get amazed on the internet when these guys they're playing Eight. four tables heads up. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean the amount of information. Um, I mean, I even have I have trouble watching four tables heads up, obviously. And he's made a pretty big bet. He's bet eight into twelve, which is a real size. Now, cool. LeBuff's going for this straight. Um, if it hits, he's going to be right back in it. It hasn't. But okay. this has opened the door for the bluff. Check. No. Ooch! You got a spade, you win. Ooch! No. He made that bluff I earlier. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. I was waiting on the ace. Oh, he made that bluff yeah. earlier. Uh, frustrating. Um, no, Paresh actually might have called yeah, a lot of bets there. Card. I mean, he did have two yeah. pair. Good card for me, but... Patel has really ground him down here in an efficient fashion. Um, hasn't yeah, been time really efficient, that. but it hasn't yeah, been energy yeah, efficient. Yeah. I call. Call? Yeah. I raise. Raise. 600 more to our total. I call. Cool. Now, if I'm Paresh Patel here, I'm, you have to be a little bit aware that that this could be a premium hand here by LaBeouf. You know, he's he raised. He, he raised. Yeah, he hasn't even had a bet for half an hour, and now he's raised. I mean, Patel could hit an 8 or a 10 here, and if LaBeouf moves all in, well, I just don't know. Oh, well, just it's just sick. over as well. Well, that's the end. That's the end. I feel a bit bad that it had to happen like this for Frank. Thousand. And you really got a call here, actually. I mean, Press doesn't know that Frank has the king. Well, maybe make a minimum raise. You can't it doesn't raise. You must call. You must just call. Call. Yeah. Call. Well, he's got two outs. Yeah, he does. Uh, he's got a backdoor heart draw. <laughs> oh my gosh! What a way to finish oh, it! Oh. oh my! Four that's, eight. I don't like it, Frank. That's the only way this game was coming to an end. Oh, sexy <laughs> ball! Bonnet de douche. <laughs> it's began that had to come to that. It's crazy. <laughs> it is good. It's a bit crazy, isn't it? It is a bit crazy. Bash! Now the river's immaterial, unless it's a fifth eight. 
the only thing that could. What an end. Thank you, mate. Thank you very much. Yes, I'll see you in a minute. What an end. He took a while. It took a while to find his way, Perez, but in the end, he got it. Lebuff, I'll tell you what. This man, if he gets hooked on this game, he's a player. Yeah, I thought he's he good. played absolutely fantastic. You know, and, and until he got mm. the um, stuff in knocked out of him with a full house. Look at this for a final round. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Uh, it felt like Patel was taking a bit of a chance there. Um, but you know what? You flop the three eights, you turn the quads. That makes things right. Cool. Lovely. For Paresh Patel, now that he's found the winning ways, I think he's going to be very tough on the final table. I had a good run of cards early on and gave me, put, put, put me in very good stead with the chips. So I was always comfortable. I was never under any pressure until the later stages when we got heads up. But Frank, I think, really played really well. For, for, for him to be playing the first time, he played really, really well. I'm happy because I bluff sometimes, and I'm not very good because I'm straightforward in my life. I'm very honest. I'm Frank. But uh, at the end of the day, I, I managed to do some, some, uh, some good bluffing, you know, without having anything. So it was great, and I made it. So, well, maybe there is a future. We never know. Next time on the Sports Stars Challenge for the Golfers Tee-Off, when Ryder Cup stars past and present hit the table.